he got here like one minute before he was going live. Fine. Um, so we've not had anything to discuss what we wanted to get in terms of the topics. But one of the things that I saw, Sports Witness, who are the go-to place, are saying Nelson Semedo, um, deal done uh, for the summer for Manchester United. Is that the end of Tony Valencia? Don't know how I feel about that. I haven't seen enough of Semedo to really have a concrete opinion on him. So I'm going to fire up We Scout this weekend. I, I uh, can really comment either, to be fair. But I, no, because Jose wants two players who can equally do the same job for every position. I'm not, we're not far off that. But I, I think you're going to see him clear pull out players again in the summer. So you, you'd think like Damian would go. I think Damian, I think Damian Young. And I think Rooney. Yeah, I think Rooney. Honestly. I think Rooney would. Go. I think not because of he's not going to be useful to the squad. If you could keep him around, I think he will offer something to the squad. Um, however, I think that this is also a financial decision. If you want to bring an, clubs don't look at transfer fees as much as people think, right? Wages is what fucks a club up big time. So if you've got five or six players on some serious dough, I mean, I believe uh, Pogba's on best part of like eighteen, nineteen million a season. Now you've got four or five players on that a season. Yeah, don't that matter how shit much money. Yeah, don't shit. How, how can much you imagine what the PAYE is on that shit as well? Okay. I mean, people don't even think of that shit, do they? Yeah, no. Oh, by the way, there's an extra twenty percent on top of that. Bosh, get in the mixer. So it's the wages people care about. So if you've got Rooney on the on the wage bill, you probably want to get that off. So if you could get him on a lower wage, keep him around playing fifteen games a season, sweet. Bastian Schweinsteiger is probably looking at the same thing because if you clear them off, you're talking about 500 grand a week off the wage bill. That's significant till. Oh, That's yeah, bringing yeah. in big, big names. So Semedo probably won't be on that sort of cash. I know a fellow who will, though. <laughs> yeah. Little he's, French motherfucker. Yeah, he's definitely going to be on that. We and, was... and he, you know, if he comes in, then that's end of Rooney because Zlatan's still going to be there. So you would have thought that them two would play together up top. I don't think he'll play two up top together. I think you might see him played as a, what is a, a wide forward, inside forward, false fucking whatever but on then, the side. Well, the, that that will come back to my point that instead of replacing Carrick, did we get someone to replace Carrick and Herrera who can do both those jobs? Well, this is the one that I've been and then, playing then around in my head. Like, and then you'd play more in terms of you'd expect more from like Mkhitaryan and maybe Martial mm. as your wide players to also defend as well when needed to. When we bought Carrick. When we lost, when we lost Kino, there had been a couple of years of. Uh, and, oh, remind me in a second. Just say two thousand and four, right? When we lost Kino in two thousand and five, he'd been on the wane for the last eight, twelve months of his career. It, it wasn't Roy Keane. Yeah, he was yeah. a guy wearing a Roy Keane shirt. It wasn't Roy Keane, and that was because he wasn't. His, his legs weren't there. He wasn't himself. He was just fucking angry and bitter, and he just wasn't the. He had injuries as well, and he. Oh yeah, so, he had some pretty significant ones as well, and. United was fucking about with. I was going to say experimenting with, but we weren't. We was fucking about. And that was the reason why we... Not only that, we, we were fucking about, and our team was shit. We was playing the likes of Alan Smith, Kieran Richardson, Bellion, Mikel Sylvester, and all that. We might, you know, individually, you go, do you know what? They're all right. But when the team's, Sylvester was decent. Ah, you but when the team's filled with that, it's yeah, not yeah. Vidic and Rio, is no, it? Do you no, know no. what I mean? As a left back, he was decent. When he moved to centre half, he was a kind yeah, well, of. Well, it's like, like it's like Rowe, isn't it? You can't put him at left back, but you can play him centre half. Yeah, he's the other way around, yeah. yeah. So I think what you had was a, a Roy Keane that was on the wane. Fergie knowing that he probably needed to move to a, like a three man midfield system to cope with what the changing type of play was. It's, uh, moving from 4 4 2 to this 4 3 3, 4 5 1 sort of hybrid. That's where a Michael Carrick comes in, and that's when eventually a, a, an Owen Hargreaves comes in, and that's an aging Paul Scholes slots into that in a nice midfield three. Maybe Jose Mourinho is going to switch it back the other way. It maybe it, it, maybe he goes back to four four two because we've seen a lot of people RB Leipzig, Atletico, Leicester. People are having a lot of success around Europe playing four four two again. You never know what he's going to do, do you? 